for yourself. Here we go, three rounds of action in the welterweight division. Brent Delgado is a seasoned veteran with a record of 16-1. Holds a couple different titles in a couple different divisions, including Bourbon Street and Animal. Brent Delgado out of the blue corner. Jeremiah Smith out of the red should be a very interesting matchup, Chief. Uh, I think for the Indiana boys so far, it's been an interesting night. They had car problems getting here. They uh, had to stop by an alternator on the way, so it's been an interesting night so far, and that's even before the fight got started. Certainly a lot to overcome. Brandon Del Prado wearing the black trunks. Jeremiah Smith wearing the white. Brandon Del Prado already such a seasoned veteran. Trained under Steve Cologne. And that's really good, that is Keith Cologne, really doing a lot, and he comes in with the right hand that barely graces the face of Jeremiah Smith, both in the clinch, now going for a standing guillotine, is Del Prado sort of tossing around Jeremiah Smith, all he has to do now is get it locked in, and it's almost still out of keep that, Joe. That's still kind of loose, uh, Smith able to avoid his turn, and he's out. And just a drill, it's like Del Prado just tosses him, like a rag doll, Chief. Yeah, it's, it just doesn't look good for uh, the Indiana boys right now. He just can't, it doesn't look like he's concentrating. It looks like he's got a little bit on his mind. Also, the for the whole one hand kick and then lands on top of Jeremiah Smith in his half guard. And Del Prado, no stranger to this, as his ground pod is excellent. Smith ducking under that high kick. Uh, now it's somewhat of a half guard. Uh, Del Prado just going to rain down some leather on him, soften him up. He is rising up, and he now chops in the body punches, and that is it. The fight is over. Del Prado with the victory here tonight. Yeah, Chief, that was uh, essentially just a complete control match. It looks like uh, Jeremiah Smith definitely took some damage to his face and his nose. Yeah, I uh, believe it's coming from his face. The red stuff is blood. <laughs> Yeah, this, this is one of the fights that it, obviously it does look like it was uh, correctly being called. The, uh, the blood is pretty much the uh, evident factor right there. And Brandon Del Prado just kind of uh, extending that, uh, that bound a little bit longer. Let's say now, using the case side of Ray Flores and the final decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mike Ray puts a hold to this contest and one minute and nine seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by technical knockout, Brandon Del Prado. Brandon, let's get a quick word with the victorious Brandon Del Prado. Take a look up here at our hard camera. Brandon, congratulations on the victory. An impressive performance in under, in under two minutes. Give me your thoughts on the fight. Can you remember what it is? I did. You are growing leaps and bounds, Brandon. You're obviously not a man of many words still. You do all your action and you do all your talking inside the cage, but can you tell us how much have you grown since your first fight all the way to this point in your career thus far? Since 17 to 1, that's how much you've grown. Is there any plans for you to turn pro in the near future or are you going to stay amateur for a little while longer and then make your way to being a professional pump in the middle of 2010? Uh, when I'm going to see you turn pro, I'll be ready to go pro. 